Don't think about that. Don't think about how much you have left. In the moment. Stay in the moment. Okay, let's just keep going. Hank? Okay. Yeah, I cheated. <laughs> okay? But, again, I want to have fun with this game. And that means getting a good fucking ending. Who's he on the phone with? I'm trying my best, okay? And I really dropped the ball last weekend, and I couldn't handle that. I, 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 my head wasn't in the game, and I dropped the ball. I couldn't accept that, and I won't. Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. Wait a minute, that was Chris? He said he was saved by Marcus himself. Oh my god, that was Chris! Was Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but... Oh my god, that was Chris, dude! I didn't even... I didn't even put... Didn't even recognize him, I'm sorry! Kamsky? Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Wait, is this his place? Why do you want to meet him? This guy created the first android to pass the Turing test. Chloe. And he's the founder of Cyberlife. This is his... We're Anybody meeting Kamsky? Anybody can tell us about Deviants, it's him. Fair assessment. Dude. The mystery man himself. What are the chances he's gonna answer the door? He doesn't let anybody in. I read that article. Well, hello there, Chloe. Hi. Sup? Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm come here on, to see Act natural. Uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. She's awful friendly. Okay. The founder of Cyberlife, I was expecting a bigger place. But hot damn, is it nice on the inside? I'm okay. I know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Sure. Wow, literally the first thing you see when you come in here is a giant portrait of himself. I think maybe the picture, pun intended, the picture I painted of this guy is maybe not 100% accurate. I have to wait for the android. Okay, hold on, I got stuff to look at here. I have three things to look at. Couch last, because I'm assuming that means sit down and wait. Ooh. Oops! Well... Whatever. I, I missed it. My bad. It was probably his birthday and all that shit that I really don't care about, but alright. Nice girl. Is that Amanda? I'll be, I'll be honest with you. You're right. She's really pretty. Oh god, I, I thought that was Amanda. Amanda. It is Amanda! Amanda Stern. AI professor at University of Colbridge. Born May 4... Excuse me? Died? Eleven years ago? I fucking told you she was an android. They were friends. And she passed away. So he made a replica of her. Oh, that's weird. She was his teacher. Born July 17th. Your birthday wasn't long ago, bruh. He was born in 2002. That's nuts. Okay. Wow. She's dead. That is nice place. crazy. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. Well, sure. Especially for the guy who invented him. Space tourism on the rise. Meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Weird. Feels very weird. Luxury holiday makers turn to the stars. Yo, gravity subway to connect near. I read that already. New app plus headset allows for live translation of all languages. That's already happening. We already have something. It's, it's not a headset. It's a thing that you talk into, and it translates to French, Jap Japanese, Chinese, whatever. With the advent of reusable space shuttles, space tourism is becoming a reality for those able to afford it. Of course, luxury travel brand Clear Skies is offering the first commercially available flight into space. The experience includes a three-hour orbit of the moon. Wow, affording spectacular views of Earth through a specially designed observation deck in space? That's maybe slightly a little bit terrifying. 
As competition competition blah, 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 increases in this growing market, consumers can expect such trips. Expect such trips. I am all over the place, guys. Right? I'm totally frazzled. I'm always frazzled when playing this game. <laughs> Sorry, I had to get that out. Consumers can expect such trips to become more and more affordable, but consumer rights activists are already decrying such boutique experiences as a sign of the widening social equality gap. It's a pretty big fucking gap, isn't it? Like 94% of the, of the world's wealth belongs to like, not even 1% of the population, I think? A spokesman for Aid on Poverty said, while the top 1% are enjoying Earth for, from space, the rest of us are down here suffering from pollution, famine, and poverty. Unemployment too. Yeah. Clear Skies was not available for comment, but the new slogan for their spacefaring holidays looks increasingly apt. Get away from it all. Right? Totally. Dude, you feel, you must feel so removed from everything up there. Which, be, this is pretty ironic because actually, uh, yesterday, as of the day I'm recording this, which is the 27th, yesterday was the 27th, um, that's when the, the, that big lunar eclipse happened. Now, of course, it's, it wasn't visible in North America, so we didn't actually see it but it's pretty cool. So now I'm reading an article about space. But Cyber Life's fortune teller computer. I thought I read this one already. Hackers target solar panels for latest ransom scam. Really? Fuck people, dude. I read that one already. Go back and watch part 10 if you want to see. I feel... I don't like any of those answers. But... It doesn't raise any existential questions. If that's what you mean. It, it would if you were human. <laughs> Connor, it would. Okay. I read the magazine. That's everything. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. Well, I assume your mother is I'd have a, a couple lovely of lady. I'd want to tell him. Or your father. What would you want to tell your father? There's nothing to do here. I'm just sitting and waiting. I don't, I don't, I don't like sitting here doing nothing. I don't like sitting here doing nothing. This game, don't like it. I get impatient and uneasy really quick just sitting there and waiting, but it looks like there's nothing else to do. Oh. Hello. If I had just waited five more seconds, you don't have any shoes Glad on. you will see you now. Okay. After you, Hank. I am a gentleman. Okay. Okay. Mr. Kamsky. That is definitely uncomfortable. Just a moment, please. Really? He just has all his lady androids? In I, I definitely painted the wrong picture of this guy. I haven't even met him yet, and I don't like him. <laughs> Why is the water red? That's so... Oh, hi. That's so, so ominous and creepy, and I don't like it. The last time I saw a pool, literal pool, full of blood, was Outlast 2. And it didn't exactly go well. Is there anything I can do here? I just have to... What are you doing, dude? Get out of the fucking pool! You have guests! I know you're a rich, stubborn asshole, but... And also, you're not used to visitors, but be courteous to your guests! Get out of the damn pool! <sighs> yeah, you guys can tell how on edge I am. <laughs> I'm yelling at everything. <laughs> Ah, oh, this game is the worst! Nice haircut. Walla, walla, walla. Walla, walla. This is really weird. I, I'm, I'm don't, I don't feel good about this guy. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberknife. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Yeah. Fascinating, aren't they? And that's putting Perfect it lightly. Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Aliens. Conversation <laughs> was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that how it always goes? Isn't that ironic? It's like rain! We need help, please. We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? Please! All ideas of viruses spread like epidemics. 
Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come no. here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Maybe. <laughs> Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. I don't know why what I would expect you, him to help us. He doesn't. Who he obviously doesn't care. Are? Oh shit. Uh. I know a pig side. I was designed to stop deviance, and that's what I intend to do. Well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. Huh? Huh? Uh -oh. What do you really want? Don't. I, I, I don't like any of those answers. I don't want anything. I am a machine. I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Yes. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. Oh, no. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent. Oh, isn't it? no. One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. You're a creeper and I don't like you at all. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? Don't take out a that better not With be a, a gun. That better not be a gun. No, oh, I, I'm not. I can't. Oh it's up no! To you to answer that fascinating question. He's calling my fucking bluff right now. Oh no, Connor! Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Oh, you or suck! Spirit. You suck! If you feel it's alive, but you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Mm. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you. What's out of more here, important please. to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android. Decide who you are. What kind of question is that? Dude! Obedient machine. Why can't both be important? Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Please, Connor. please leave. Connor! Connor, Don't. leave. And I'll tell you what you want to know. I can't do it. I can't do it. Not in front of Hank. I can't. I can't. No. 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 I can't do it in front of Hank. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity. I... I've been talking with Chloe in the main so menu the whole game. I couldn't do it. I'm... I'm not a deviant. Connor. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. He's breaking. You saw a living being in this android. It's supposed to look like she one! Empathy. And shoot you! Because unlike her, she hasn't done anything wrong. I don't care if she's alive or not. You were going to punish side. her for something she didn't do. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. Boy, do I know what that's about. 2016 election. <laughs> Fucking hell, By the dude. Way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Is that is that the fourth wall being broken? Is that the emergency exit? Why didn't you shoot? Come on, dude, stop that girl's asking me these questions! That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. That was then. This I'm is now, sorry. Hank. Okay? Whoa, Connor, dude. Well, maybe you did the right thing. <sighs> oh my god. 
I knew he would have hated it if I'd shot her. I knew it. What a douche, Kamsky! God, I painted the complete wrong picture of you in my head. The complete wrong picture in my head. Oh, my God. Okay, that was a short one. That was good. I like short ones. I like short ones. Cops spared in Capitol Park, and you learned Chris survived. I did not know that was Chris. I did not know that was Chris. I mean, I wasn't going to do it. My mind was made up. I wasn't going to do it. But pretty much every, every, almost every opportunity that this game gives me to, to use a gun, I don't use it. <laughs> almost. There was nothing else in that room. Maybe if I had sat down and waited, I could have talked with Hank or something. Because I read the magazine, I analyzed the portrait and the painting. I did talk to Hank. What the heck did I miss there? He gave me the test and I spared her. So we left. Hank thought Connor made the right decision. That is what I want to hear. I, I know Hank. I care about Hank. I don't give a shit about Kamsky. Or what he wants. Okay? Okay? And Chloe has been talking to me and being friendly in the main menu. The, this whole damn game. She's been creepy. Sure. But... And then you make me point a gun at her head and ask me to kill her? No! <laughs> I've been very clear on that. If you ask me to, to do bad things against the characters I actually know, that's, that's a no-no. That's another line I won't cross. Nope. That's another line I won't cross. Okay. I, I do find myself really wondering, though, what he could have told us. Damn it. Damn it! Dude, I, I'm, not, I'm not solving this! Every time I find a deviant, they either get away or I let them go. Rupert got away. The deviant, I learned a lot from Carlos's android, but he self-destructed. The, the, the Eden Club girls, I let them go. I feel like I'm missing- the, the, right, the, the, the crazy-ass deviant in Stratford Tower that almost freaking killed me. And may or may not have killed me at one point or another, but we're, we're forgetting that happened. Um, <laughs> um, he, he was killed. I'm not solving this. This was my one chance. Hank said, the one chance I really could have learned something. And I, I didn't take it. Crap! Okay, whatever. It's fine. I, whatever. Marcus? Where's Kara? Is it, oh, hello. Well, that's... That's convenient. Let's read a little bit and calm the hell down, right? Android Riot. Detroit neighborhoods vandalized by psychotic machines. Psychotic? A number of Detroit neighborhoods were brutally vandalized last night with cyber life stores broken into and the entire stock of androids stolen. But this wasn't everyday criminality. The perpetrators are thought to be androids. Though the police have yet to issue an official statement, leaked CCTV footage from the surrounding area shows a number of androids emerging from manhole covers and smashing store windows. I did do that. Whoops. <laughs> the worst incident was in Capitol Park, where police attended the, scene, attended the scene and were confronted by androids behaving violently. They were running away! They were running home! Did they look armed to you? Officers had no choice but to open fire on the malfunctioning machines. Okay, well, they were malfunctioning, but fuck off! Okay? What are they gonna do? Really? That's ridiculous. Are thought to be suffering from some kind of behavioral bug. Yeah, deviancy. An eyewitness who asked to remain anonymous said, I was personally attacked by the ringleader. It threatened me with a knife! I was so terrified! What the fuck?! Okay, Chris definitely wouldn't say that. It was the other cop. You douchebag. Of course, this allegation remains unconfirmed, thank you, but we have no reason to disbelieve a human witness as to the behavior of a- I HATE PEOPLE! Some are already connecting this issue to the recent attack on Detroit's Stratford Tower, again executed by androids. This may be the beginning of a disturbing and perplexing pattern. Yeah, well. <laughs> oh, shit. The Eastern Space Race. 
Only two countries have Android industries that rival the United States, Russia and China, and they are locked in fierce competition to become the world's predominant Eastern economy, which continues to overtake the Western Hemisphere by leaps and bounds. CyberLife's almost human model of Android design complements America's service economy. Russia and China have also developed Androids that reflect their national economy, so they're, they're making Androids too. After failing to emulate the blue bl blood model of design, Russia's Android manufacturers rely on more traditional construction methods. The resulting machine machines are less anthropic, but capable of operating in cold and inhospitable conditions. So they're slightly less humanoid looking? It's a bit creepy. China's Androids use an alternative blue blood fluid with less upfront power generation, but greater efficiency. The results are Androids capable of operating for months without supervision or recharging in China's vast rural areas. Who is winning the new space race? With everybody going in different directions, it's too soon to tell. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, China's got the, the, the power efficiency down. But in terms of, like, the actual survival in a hostile, not-Earth environment, seems Russia's ahead on that. Interesting. If only they would work together. But that is a fool's dream. Why would I do that? Am I going to take another leap of faith? Oh. Where the heck am I? What is this? A smashed mirror. Oh, oops. Who is that man I see? <laughs> Saying that before. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Staring straight back at me. Oh, am I gonna do it again? Oh, Marcus. You miss him, don't you? It's the same piece, too. I remember this. This was all the way back in part two, guys. So much has happened. Let's pick up the pace. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> I couldn't resist. That was just me tapping it as fast as I could go. In fact, I should probably just, just like last time. Oh, oh, you didn't finish. Dang it. Well, it's a bit of an abrupt end there. <laughs> I just smashed the button. Sorry. Oh, okay, now he's making me go. tend to write a book about you one day. If you do, make it short. I was wondering where you were. I just wanted to think. I needed to think. I like it here. Me too. It's pretty. I come here often. It's like being Come here often, baby. <laughs> Flow rider! We freed hundreds of our people, and they're still coming from all over the city. Well, there's, yeah, there's millions more. Those who more. dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. No shit. You seem preoccupied. God, your hair's long. Um, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I guess. They count on me. They You're my count companion. On you. I can't them the way. You. If only they knew how lost I am. All the media are talking hey. about what we did last night. I bet they are. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. Burned? The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. That's why we're taking it, woman! Optimistic! No, not all humans are the same. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? Carl. I'll give you the truth. 
I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. I don't he like you, but... He showed me that humans and androids can live together. There you go. Can I ask you about this? What about you? you hey! Tell me about your past. What did you Good. do before? I don't want to talk about it. Well, I, I, I unlocked this. That android you were looking at in the store. I've avoided a lot of unlocked options. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? I, I was fully expecting her to not like me prying. You can trust me. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. Hot diggity, I'm doing good. <laughs> I was nothing. Yay. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. I know. H how did you go deviant? How One did day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. How do you rent the perfect partner? Isn't the perfect partner supposed to not I go anywhere? I strangled him and I ran away. Oh shit. There, now you know everything. Um, I didn't mean to upset you, North. I'm sorry. I should have told you. No, y you should have. Connect? What the fuck does that mean? Tarzan. What is going on and what is happening? Trust the Marcus! Touch. Maybe not. Okay. The fuck I, was that? I saw your memories. Eh, uh, what? What? I was just talking about how much I didn't like you, and now all of a sudden I'm in love with you? What? I saw your memories, too. The Eden Club. The death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. So, she was the one that was kidnapped? In the vial? North. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Where? Oh. I upset her. But apparently she's my lover now. I was just talking about how much I didn't like her, and now all of a sudden it's like, by the way, you're in love. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? Simon? Oh my, oh my god, you came back! You made it, Simon! Oh my god! Hi, buddy. Hi. Oh, my shirt came up. It's a bit of a short one. <laughs> Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, yay. Oh, yay. 